Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Eyal, and I'm the CEO of Zen City from Tel Aviv, Israel. For the next eight minutes, I want to talk to you about how and why we should listen to our cities. The biggest passion for me is cities. I think cities are the most amazing achievement of human society to date. But not, not only I think that. Today, more people than ever are moving into cities. Within our lifetime, within this generation, our society is going to complete its transformation into a fully urban one. This means two things. First of all, managing a city is becoming very, very difficult. And second, we have to act now to improve everything in this process before it's too late. So in the last few years and in the panels before me, you've heard a lot of discussion about the amazing concept of smart cities, how we start to quantify and collect information about various aspects of city life, water management, resource management, traffic. But one thing that's missing out of many of these technologies is a core issue of urban life, the people themselves. If we'll be honest for a minute, people are the heart of the city. They're what makes the city alive, interesting, thriving, and also complicated. While many other verticals of urban life are becoming computerized, digitized, quantified, human life in the city is staying more or less the same. Cities still collect information about the human experience through public hearings where only who got a babysitter can attend, through phone surveys that contact only people that have landlines, and get only a small glimpse of what people actually think about the city. But an another very interesting change that's happening in the last few years is that we as a society have become much more vocal about our opinions and thoughts. In a show of hands, how many of you have a social media account? Perfect. Every minute, 1.3 million new posts are created around the world. Every minute. This means we have an unprecedented opportunity to understand what people around the world are thinking in real time. But this also means that we have an abundance of information that if we don't, you know, analyze in a smart way, understand in a smart way, we'll just get lost in it. And that's exactly where Zen City comes in. Zen City wants to be the Google Analytics for cities. We help decision makers in cities make conscious decisions about their city based on actual citizen feedback. We take data from many different sources, social media, like I mentioned before, and others that I'll share in just a minute, analyze them with unique AI capabilities that we developed to provide in real time a detailed view of how people view and use the city. So how does it work? Basically, we take data from several sources. The main source, of course, is social media. Other than that, we take municipal hotline requests, 311 in the US, 106 in Israel, probably something different in Korea. We take data from IoT sensors that give us some information about human activity in the city, like different uh, amounts of crowds or uh, waste management data. And we input all of that into a learning model that gives each interaction three scores. The first is a category score. What is this actually talking about? Are we talking about education, waste management, security, uh, uh, traffic management? We do that by either analyzing the text or analyzing the context from which the data came from. The second score is a sentiment score. Does this interaction provide us something about how the citizens feel? Is this a negative interaction, a positive interaction, or a neutral one? And the third score is an impact score. How important was, in, was this interaction? Was this something new and meaningful, or was this something mundane or something repetitive that we've seen in the past? We aggregate all of this information and share it with different stakeholders in city government with a unique set of dashboards that's tailored to different stakeholders. We have a dashboard for city managers and mayors, we have a dashboard for department managers, and even one for people working in the different departments and the urban control room. Let's see a little bit how it works. So this is our actual product. You're welcome to look at it. It's just a video because I'm on a tight schedule, but you're welcome to see uh, demo.zencity.io and check it out for yourself. So the main graph that you can see at the top shows us all of the areas of responsibility of the city. The dashboard you see, uh, those bar charts are different areas of responsibility of the city. The height of the column represents how many interactions we saw in each one of these areas of responsibility, and the colors represent the sentiment. We can see other different views uh, in general about the data. We can see changes over time. We can see a word cloud and sentiment. But we can also drill down to each one of these categories and see more in depth 
what people are saying about that specific category. So for example, this would be used by the Department of Transportation to see changes over time, to see a word cloud and notifications just for that. And if I drill down again, I can actually go into the interactions themselves and uh, uh, take a look at them. Of course, this is only public data. We don't take any private data from anyone. You can also see the data on a geographical scale and integrate it with existing GIS systems, and even get alerts and notifications in real time straight to your email or to your phone about changes happening in the data. With our platform, we see city management doing two interesting things. One is becoming proactive in management. Instead of sitting and waiting for someone to report a problem, sitting and waiting for something to become a big issue or a missed opportunity, we see local governments being proactive with just a hint of something starting up on social media or on one of our other sensors and acting to it before uh, uh, the opportunity is missed. The second thing is that we see them using the aggregated data over time to power planning and management decisions. So if you're working on a city budget, if you're working on a work plan, even if you're working on a new real estate development plan, you can use the data on what people are talking about, what people care about, to power your decision-making process. Today, uh, after only five months of marketing, we're already impacting more than one million people daily with uh, many of the major cities in Israel, and we've just started a pilot with the city of Paris, so this number is hopefully going to grow a lot very soon. Let's see a few examples of the use of our system. So in one of our first clients in Israel, uh, when we came to him, he said, I'm not sure what my problems are, but I think I have some problem in waste management. We deployed the system, and we saw that, of course, he had a very major problem with waste management, but almost all of the complaints, both on social media and on the 311 line, were about the trash bins not being returned to their place after they were cleared. We saw that straight away when we started the system. The keywords just popped out into the word cloud. We showed him that within less than a week that the system was deployed there, and within less than two weeks after they dealt with that specific issue, there was a reduction in more than 50% in complaints about waste management in that specific city. Another great example just now from the last few weeks was the city of Paris. Paris is considering a um, bike path in the 11th district, working on, on, um, on creating a new bike path in, in one of the most busy districts in the city. And they told us that there is a lot of backlash about that, a lot of complaints. We took to our sensors, we took to social media, and we saw that there is a lot of complaints. But most of the discussion by far, 75 to 25%, is positive about the bike lane. More people are saying positive things than negative things about the bike lane. More than that, almost all of the complaints are around two specific issues, around uh, the length of the, uh, the width of the bike lane and its placement within uh, the road. There weren't almost any complaints about the bike lane itself. So we showed that data to city government, and we hope they'll use that to power their decision-making about the bike lane. But to finish off, I just want to say one thing a bit more generally. Our goal in Zen City is not to deal with one specific issue or another. Our goal is to bring citizens' voices to be a meaningful data point that powers decision-making in cities, because we believe that a city can only be great if it's created by the views and by the needs of all of the people. So, Thank you very much for your time, and we're always looking for new cities to collaborate with, so feel free to reach out to me. Thank you very much.